Hi everyone and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. Today we're going to take a look at and see what the cards are trying to tell you here, what the universe may be communicating with you. It is going to be a general reading and um, we won't really ask any specific questions. I guess we'll just see what messages are coming up for you at this point in time. As I was saying, this is a general reading, so guys, please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading, one in which the reading itself is tailored to you and your specific uh, person and your situation then please feel free to reach out and inquire I will list my email address below the video here otherwise guys if you've clicked on this reading then something he has led you to this reading there may be a message in here that might resonate with you a message that you might need to hear or be reminded of but let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle and begin The Nine of Wands here, I'm getting a strong message for you to wait something out, okay? So if there's a lot of uncertainty and any energy of indecisiveness and energy of not knowing whether you should stay or whether you should leave a connection here, whether you should reconnect with someone or not, the Nine of Wands could be a good idea to sort of wait it out here because you may gain a lot more clarity on the situation in the near future. So if you're straddling the fence about a decision, it's probably best to hold it off here. Okay, because I do feel like um, when it comes to this decision here, because of all of this fire energy here, or when it comes to this, your, this situation here, someone's inner strength is going to be called upon in order to either maintain the current situation, the current relationship here, or to then move forward with something here. Or move forward with a decision when that progress is going to be made available to you so if you are feeling an area of you know stagnation here in your life or in your romantic relationship it's probably not a good idea just to move things forward for the sake of moving forward if one or more you know of the people here in the connection are not ready then may not be ready for commitment they may not be ready to progress things forward so don't feel like you know because it's never good to force anything, it's never good to put pressure on it. So if progress isn't available right now here, it's probably um, it's probably wiser to just hold off on things. Someone here feels like they're being left out in the cold here. You may feel as though, you know, why has your person um, stopped contacting you? Why have they stopped, uh, you know, uh, displaying any interest or enthusiasm for you and for this connection here? Or you may feel as though they've distanced themselves and they're acting very cold towards you or they're keeping you um, in the dark or out of, you know leaving you out in the cold here so the five of Pentacles could suggest that you may need to speak up and ask for help whether it's from a connecting energy whether it's from you know your support system or whether it's from you know your special person um, you might need some uh, reassurance from them or you may need some communication to clarify uh, any miscommunications misunderstandings here or you know to bring about any clarity here the five of pentacles is also a very uh, it's a type of energy where you know it's a lacking mindset so and this lacking mindset could potentially be sabotaging 
uh, a connection for you, okay? Purely because I feel like someone here is very focused on what they lack and not necessarily what they do have. So in order for you to sort of shift this energy, look for, you know, look for what you do have in the connection. Look for all the positivities in the connection here. So, you know, it's important to uh, be very grateful for your blessings, and to express your gratitude for these as well because once you focus on the positive more of that will grow and that's what we want for you okay and that not having enough or not having this person in your life is going to be a thing of the past for you now some of you i feel like it's also very important for you to sort of identify with where you're at in the situation and with whom it is that you're dealing with because both the Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles does signify to us that there, this is a bit of a player type of energy or this is someone who may not be taking you or the connection as seriously. Um, they may be very inconsistent in your life, coming in and out of your life, a fluctuating presence, someone who's hot and then cold, someone who's um, in and then out of your life. He's someone who's very up and down, who's indecisive. They could be juggling um, other partners. They could, uh, you know, they could see you as an um, as a option and not a priority here. But it's important for you to identify those behaviors, okay, and identify how that makes you feel. Because I feel like someone's behavior here is bringing out your insecurity. So remember how we spoke about that lacking mindset and you possibly focusing on, you know, what you don't have. That's because I feel like that you know they're projecting their insecurities onto you and onto this connection here and it's possibly surfacing some personal insecurities or personal issues of your own here um it's such a frivolous energy and i don't mean for this to sound insensitive but one quote that comes to mind is that you know when you entertain a clown i guess don't be surprised when you become a part of their circus so you know if you're allowing for this person to get away with the way that they've been treating you in a way you're also part of the problem and sorry if that's really blunt um so if you surround yourself with clowns don't be surprised when you know your life starts resembling you know a circus all of a sudden so you know i feel like a lot of you have to identify with um you know what it is that you're dealing with and whom it is that you're dealing with because I feel like you know some of you are dealing with a player and you're hoping to turn them into marriage material okay when clearly this person is indicating to you that they're not ready to settle down they're not ready for a commitment they, they can't even make a decision as to whether to choose you or to someone else choose someone else or you know they can't even prioritize you amongst the many um, things that they may be juggling okay this is someone who can't seem to provide you a sense of stability here so don't expect for that person to you know um, provide you or offer you commitment when all they've shown you is inconsistency there is a struggle here to find this balance okay and it's a fine line but this balance between your needs and the needs of someone else and this this lack of balance that in itself could be a reflection of your imbalance in the connection that your needs and your priorities here are very different to your person's and that you shouldn't maybe forcing you shouldn't be forcing your needs onto your person and not should and you know likewise they shouldn't be forcing their needs here onto you here so it could just signify that the partnership and the connection itself is struggling to find a balance and um you know, it could also tell us that you're two very different people who do want to very different things from out of this connection here. So I feel like you need, I feel like you really need to ask yourself here or someone needs to ask themselves here, you know, what are you willing to put in? Just how much effort are you willing to put in and are you getting that back? You know, are you willing to put in all this effort for someone who may not be putting in equal amount of efforts for you, may not be reciprocating their actions or their emotions towards you? Um, because I feel like for a lot of you, it's, you know, the Two of Pentacles kind of makes, it's sort of like symbolic of a choice that you're going to have to make, okay? You can choose to stay with this individual, but you also have to accept that, you know, this is what... You, you've been getting from this individual and it's what you'll continue to get but in it, you know if you're choosing to make space for 
in your life for a new romantic energy or a new relationship then you will possibly have to walk away from this person and walk away from this connection here so it's all about you know making that choice and making that decision and of course being happy with it you know being at peace with that decision now some of you i feel like maybe have been avoiding moving away or cutting ties with this person purely because you know it might bring you a lot of sadness to say goodbye and to walk away from this person here it may even surface some psychological or emotional issues or trauma that you carry here okay but i feel like you know it's best for you to walk away from a relationship um, that doesn't feel fulfilling or from a situation that feels very disappointing then you staying in it and suffering the consequences okay um because i feel like maybe at one point the connection or this person was someone who was a great joy of and a great source of your joy here but now i feel like it's only inconsistencies and disappointments that they bring your way and you know why should you stay on board for that Because you've invested a lot into this connection and despite your best efforts, I don't feel like you're getting the same back in return. And I feel like, you know, their current actions are an indicator of their future actions here. Because the Eight of Cups, I mean, look at that, you know, this space there for a missing chalice. And that to us indicates that something here is missing on in this connection, whether it's on an emotional level um, on a spiritual level, you know, whether it's on a physical level, there is something here that's missing. And instead of you waiting to change them or waiting to rescue them or just waiting for things to get better, maybe it's best that you, you know, maintain your sanity and you walk away here. Okay, because deep down inside, okay, whether you agree with this reading or not, deep down inside, if something is, and you know when something is not serving your greater good, your highest good here, okay? And if that's the case, then maybe it's a good time here. Maybe your inner person, your you know, your inner self is telling you that it's time to let go and move on here. Because look, you have the King of Wands here who looks to the Eight of Cups. And the King of Wands is someone about, you know, he, he represents someone who makes big, bold decisions and someone who has that bravery and has that courage to do so here it's all about um, seeing the bigger picture the king of wands tells us that you know once you've weighed up all your options here and once you've really thought things out don't waste time in um don't waste time in sort of qu questioning your decision or questioning your choices okay Think it through, think it out, you know, give yourself as much time as you need to do that. And once you've done that, it's important to follow up with some action because that's what I feel like the King of Wands is inviting for you to do here. And to me, it feels like you need to embrace the qualities of the King of Wands that you do have. You do. You have the bravery, you have the courage. You have, you know, you have that vision here. You have those characteristics of the King of Wands here. And he's someone who is able to take actions and make decisions that will help him guard fiercely, you know, and protect his heart here. Because I get it that, you know, maybe what attracted you to this person in the first place was you know a racing heart weak knees and butterflies in the stomach but those aren't the things that make a relationship or a connection last i mean sure they're great and they're fun for a little while but then you know it, it takes some real work to make a commitment stick it takes commitment it takes dedication it takes you know someone reciprocating it takes balance here so it takes real work to make a commitment you know stick here and as i've said those butterflies and those weak knees and you know that racing heart may have been fun in the beginning but now isn't the beginning okay now is i feel like an important time for you to decide what is it that you want here and it's you know it's all about trusting in yourself and trusting in the decisions that you're making as well um all right guys and these are your messages so thank you as always for watching and for listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing
For those of you interested in a personalised reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, bye for now.